right click network icon. Then click open network and sharing center. Click local area connection. Click properties button. In local area connection properties windows select internet protocol version 4 TCP slash IPv4. Click properties button. Choose obtain an IP address automatically. Then choose obtain DNS server address automatically. Click OK button. In local area connection status windows click details button. Copy the physical address and IPv4 default gateway value. Click close button. Closed all open windows. Open any internet browser for example Internet Explorer, Firefox, Google Chrome. On your address bar, type 192.168.10.1 In password, type admin. Click login button. Click setup tab. Click internet setup. In when access type, you have three options to select. Click static IP. In IP address menu, type 192.168.2.5. In subnet mask menu, type 255.255.255.0. In default address menu, type 192.168.2.1. In DNS1 menu, Type 192.168.2.1 In Mac clone, select Mac from PC. Click Apply Changes button. Wait until 35 seconds reboot will finish. In Password, type Admin. Click Login button. Click Wireless tab. Click Wireless Basics. Change the SSID or UIFI name. You can customize USSID in any form. This will represent as the name of your Wi-Fi. In Encryption, you have four options to select. Select WPA2PSK. In Pre-Shared Key, type your Wi-Fi password. You can customize your password minimum of 8, maximum of 64 in any order of alphanumeric. Click Apply button. Click Status tab. Under the WAN configuration you will see the information and look for status if link up is displayed and has an IP address. This means that you are already connected to the internet. To check if you have access on the internet, try to open any internet browser and visit any website that you want to access. Let's try CDR King website. 